Hi, Gemini. This is your reading for the time period of November 1st to December 31st, 2021. For those of you who are new to my channel or you're visiting, welcome to Amani's Lightwork, okay? So before I begin with your reading, I just want to let you guys know that I started my tarot series on my Instagram page at AmaniEfe777. Please feel free to uh, go over there and partake in the series. If you have questions, comments, or concerns about it, you know where to find me, all right? So let's see what energies are coming through for you, uh, your bi-monthly for November and December. I'll touch base with your energy again before the year lets out, so probably like late December, okay? I get this idea of like you're saying to yourself I don't want to share so I don't want to share it could be I don't want to share a house <laughs> I don't want to share an apartment I don't want to share some type of space in a locker I don't want to share um what the hell else would that be related to I don't want to share I don't want to share my car whatever so I don't want to share money it is the, I don't want to share status so whatever you have going on with that well we will see why you don't want to do something like that okay it could be that you don't want to share a person like you may be in an open you may be in an open relationship um, I'm also getting this idea of not knowing that you are <laughs> so you could be in an open relationship like but it's like you don't know that it's open if that makes any sense, okay? But your partner does, but you don't. It's either your partner does and you don't, or you do and your partner doesn't know that. Um, there you are. There's the lover's energy. So, um, lovers, you could be dealing with an external Gemini. Um, or, like, if it's not, you know, this is your energy. You could just be in a partnership with someone. Um, I get not forthcoming. Either forthcoming or not forthcoming. All right? Someone that you're in a partnership. Okay, someone that you're in a partnership with is not for, forthcoming with you. Um, so, you're either not forthcoming or they're not. If that makes any sense and it could be related to the fact that someone doesn't know that um, I don't say information exposed someone doesn't know that their information is exposed whatever that means to you so information exposed could be document information information could be verbal information or like what's going on with someone period exposed so there's certain things like um there's certain things about your life that, uh, so there's certain things about your life you may think are private, but they're not really private. So that's happening to you directly, or that's happening with a partner that you have, or it's an external Gemini is experiencing that. So it just depends on what's going on. But someone, you, it feels like you're dealing with a partnership that you don't know that it's open like you're dating someone and they're and they're like rolling like it's just you and them but they have other people attached to them so you can be doing that or that somebody external is doing that to you okay <sighs> starting point is the ten of women or the ten of swords energy i hate to see this energy in the starting point but it's cool you're fine you you're above water all right so ten of swords is your energy and that of other air sign like libra aquarians or the gemini's or it's just ten of swords ten of swords may be related to what i just picked up <laughs> um like it could be related to that um i also get taxes or something tax related as well too so some of that may be going on with your taxes either like um the spirit is giving me the idea from an old job so you may have some type of tax situation situation going on from an old job that like somebody I don't know somebody took the taxes uh you could be in the process of trying to get those taxes back or like I mean getting the tax it can be taxes or pay it just depends on what's going on so I'll give you a perfect interesting scenario if you were working in a job that you may not be working at the job anymore um I also get the 
somebody may have d dispersed some type of information from an old job that you were in and somebody dispersing the information from an old job that you were in implies that you it does interfere with your insurance it does interfere with some type of insurance that you do receive or the reason why your information was dispersed from an old job or a new job is because I also get Aries it's something that's going on with the Aries element with that um, it's because it's because someone, so that someone could gain some type of insurance or someone could use I don't know if this is like life insurance related or if it's just like so that somebody can receive some type of benefit externally from you it just depends on the energy that is coming through I do get the idea of videos as well like videos could be absolutely anything I don't know if you are like a vlogger and you did some type of video work and somebody's getting taxes from a video that you have or like um what's another situation video could also be um i don't know if somebody took a video of you uh what's another took a video of you it could be surveillance video of you or you need surveillance video of a situation i got a workplace you may need surveillance video of a workplace or you did obtain video of a workplace it's a 10 so something could have happened in october like something could be happening now in October with a video and surveillance and or seeing somebody doing something with your information on a surveillance camera. It just depends on what's going on. Or there's a video like it has something to do with video work or a video that belongs to you. And there's taxes related to that. Just a, I don't know, something like that. There's a lot going on on that car. Uh, the wedding position has the four of wands. So, Four of Wands will be fine. I did get Aries, but it could be Leo. Something related to the Ten of Swords could be related to something that Leo's, something that you have going on with a Leo. Or, like, I did get Aries. Could be Sag elements as well. Four of Wands would be, like, you could be waiting for that person. But I also get revealed the truth. So, as I ran through the fire sign energies, something's going on with revealing the truth about a situation. So, revealing the truth could be revealing the truth about a relationship. Um, I also get buying and selling. So, revealing the truth could be related to something going on with buying and selling. So, it could be buying and selling information. Or, um, I also get intellectual property. That has something to do with buying and selling intellectual property. So, you, Ten of Swords with the Four of Wands, what I was picking up, you, you may have some type, you may have intellectual property that you may not have necessarily, or you run a business, and, or you make something, and there's a need, like, if you don't have an LLC, for example, there may be a need to file for an LLC, or, and you need to watch for the taxes with an LLC, or you need to file a documentation for it or the sum is going on with like some type of business that you do have or a partner externally I, they don't file taxes for so when I they don't file taxes for them um, so if a partner that you're dealing with they don't file taxes for something okay there's a lot going on <laughs> Jesus Christ okay hold on a second let me just take my time with this there's a lot going on here it's a lot ten of swords with the four of wands your I have X ten of swords with the four of wands is that you you may have been running a business with an X or you're just dealing with an X and they they have access to your documentation they have access to it so X can be X co-worker X can be X lover they still have access to your documentation because you may have been running a business with them you were or you were not or you just tied to them you may have been married to them whatever it is there there's this energy of gossip that is surrounding you or surrounding them but it's because of documentation that the spirit is implying that you don't know that they still have or i don't know if you have something that is theirs and spirit is implying that they don't know that you have it i feel like you don't know that they have it like if i don't know this is coming through like an ex like an ex job ex boss ex partner like they could be fire sign and you don't know that they have access to your documentation still. Or something's going on here with insurance, like life insurance or like an insurance policy. Fire sign energy may have that on you. Or and they, they tend to swords, they may not have discussed that with you. They could have just I get out of angst. So they may not have discussed that with you, but they may have done that with you out of angst. 
So someone may have, like your ex or like a lover that you have may have like a life insurance policy on you. Some type of insurance policy or if you discuss that with them or you just have it, they have access to it and you may have had a discussion with them. I don't want you to have, uh, I also get can't get off when I said that. So you may not be able to get them off of that. So if you sat down with them and said, okay, this is what we're going to do, you can't remove them. <laughs> so this could be happening to you in a job. And someone is like, you know, now that you sign yourself in this job, you're not, you're not even here anymore. But the job has access to, or someone in it has access to your, uh, forever. Someone forever has access to your information because of a job or as an ex that you have. And you discuss with them, like, I don't want you to use this. Uh, don't use this account anymore. Don't use this big account anymore. Don't use that password. You may need to change passwords and, and change whatever passwords and for accounts and things that you need to change. Something about that may not work, you know? It just depends on the energy that's coming through. So you may have to, you may need to seek a lawyer, you know? You may need to seek a lawyer. Uh, um, in terms of what's going on here like this in terms of what's happening <clears throat> so I do feel like this is something that may have been happening to you for a while I don't feel like this is anything new it does feel like something that you've already been dealing with I would say it's sitting with it's something that you've been sitting with like you've been sitting with this so if you know that this is happening you're sitting with it and you're not taking action or you know what's happening and you're sitting with it and and you're possibly getting the urges to handle it to handle it handle something that you did with an ex and handle something that you did or a, something that is going on with you with, a, with an ex job like an ex somebody in the job something they did or something that they're trying to do on an ex whatever present has the night of this the gourmet chef that may be somebody's occupation. Um, that may be someone that you meet or or that you're dating or you're talking to, like a friend, someone that you know. Um, uh, they may work in a restaurant. They or you may be going out to eat with them. It feels like you may be going out on a date with someone. I get deceptive. Someone that you're going on a date with is deceptive. Someone that you're going on a date with is deceptive for whatever reason. But it's a guy, like they could be a female that's showing up masculine, or it's a man, it's someone that you work with, or someone that you used to work with, you may have had lunch with them before, or you're planning on having lunch with them, right? But it knows what an Aries did, or knows what an Aries is doing, they know what a Leo is doing, they know what a Sag is doing, they know what fire sign energies are doing. Like that, the fire signs that are in your family, or fire sign energies that they that you worked with them before, they could be shown up here like an ex co worker or ex lover as well. They could be shown up here like that, or the spirit is giving an idea that they're just a friend. They're a friend that has a lot of detail on what's happening with you in your love life and your personal life with lawyers and divorcing and, and whatever information, documentation, jobs, ex jobs and, and documentation that ex, and that old jobs still have access to and old jobs use or someone in those old jobs they still use. You may know that about this person. So if it's not happening to you directly, it's something that's going on with them. So technically you like together you can help this person, they can help you. You know what I mean? That you can help them, or they can help you. Four of Wands, right? I can't. I keep getting this idea of not seeing. Like the spirits giving. There's a not seeing, or don't see. Ten of Swords, Four of Wands. The not seeing or don't see is that the Knight of Discs. The not seeing or don't see is that the Knight of Discs. The night of this, I mean, the reason for befriending. There's an interesting reason that this person is befriending you. There's an in, and there's an interesting reason into the re, okay. There's an interesting reason into why you are befriending them, or why you're deciding to stay befriended to them. If that makes any sense, or that you befriend, befriended them. Period. <laughs> Whatever. That you befriended them. Period. Has, there's something there. there it, there's an esoteric tie to why they are your friend or why you deal with them. 
there's an esoteric tie about it but it's like the spirit emphasized that as well i didn't receive documentation you receive documentation that is theirs or they receive documentation that is yours ten of swords four of wands with them hmm. or they just know something but you're like discussing this over a meal like it could be thanksgiving that they are around you or it's like you're going out with them and they're cryptic. You're going out with them and they're just cryptic. You're cryptic with them. Okay? The future has the emperor sign of Aries. It could be Taurus male. You have an Aries and a Taurus male here. That's in the future. All right? Aries and Taurus. The Aries male could show up like this as a, as a, as a knight of disc. They could show up like that. I was going to have any Aries. Whether it's a man or a woman. You have Taurus. Could also be Virgo and Capricorn man, but is it Aries, Taurus man? Okay. The instincts has futility, seven of swords. So the seven of swords is in the instincts. That is your energy and, and that of other air sign elements. So the idea is to make plans. You may be making plans to meet up with this person, making plans to meet up with them, get information from them about them. In regards to yourself or in regards to them. But I also get this idea of not knowing what's happening. So either if you're embodying night of this, you don't know what's happening somewhere. If this is someone that is set, if this is someone that is external, they don't know what's happening. They don't know what's happening. Whatever that means. They don't know what's happening. That's that's why I would say, like just sitting with, if there's a thought that you're just sitting with in regards to someone external. You are not seeing anything that of something that you do know. I also get karmic. So when I said that, it's it's karmic. Something is karmically happening to you because you have some type of information that you're not expressing. It could be life saving information you're not expressing about this person. It's life saving. But you're sitting with it and you're not telling somebody something. And because you're not telling somebody something, it's it's karmically something that's interesting that's happening karmically. They may be sitting with something and they're not I it openly. They may sit with something but they may not be telling you directly. Or it's like they do something really openly that is going on with you, or you do something really openly in regards to them. And they may just be sitting with it and something's going on karmically with them. I feel like some of this may be karmically happening with you because uh, I would say opposition is because of some type of opposition that you have. There's a lot of swords here, so you may, it may be mental opposition that you have. It could be something up going on with you, me like mentally in terms of your thought process with like some type of opposing thought that you have in your mind with not telling somebody something. But I get scared of Aries. So when I say you may be scared of an Aries element that's a man or they're a woman or a Sag or a Leo, you may be afraid of them. Like something about I get aura, something about the fire sign energies aura may be off putting to you. It may be off putting. But it's like what you have going on with them is secretive. And this I expose, and this element may expose that. They may be exposing that on purpose, intentionally, accidentally, whatever it is. Hmm. The accomplishment has the hermit sign of Virgo. So it could be a Virgo male, like I said, earth sign energy that's a man. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn man, Aries male. There's a lot of men here. There's a lot of men here. And then there's an Aries, the Aries could be shown up, you know, there's an Aries male, but you could also be dealing with fire sign energy that's a, um, what do you call it? You could also be dealing with an Aries female or whatever, okay? But the Hermit is here, this is a Virgo, Virgo is right next to the Ten of Swords, right? But I also get this idea of why didn't they tell me? So if you're dealing with a Virgo, they're like, why, why didn't they tell me anything? Something may be, that's why I said, something may be happening karmically with a Virgo man because they're not telling you something. Or it could be a female as well, but there's a Vir they could be a Virgo. Why didn't tell me anything? Why are they not expressing to me what happened? I also get facts. They're not sharing with you some type of fact that you need. Right? So before I move any further, 
before you go any further, you have the situation here where like you you may have left like an old job, for example, and there's paperwork from that job that someone like you may be meeting up with an ex coworker and the ex coworker may have access to that documentation because of an emperor if that makes any sense to you, because of an emperor. The emperor may have been someone that you used to work with. They could have been ex-boss, supervisor, friend of some kind. They just know what's happening with your documentation somewhere or something that you have in a job or it's like an ex-partner that someone just knows. It could be like a sibling to an ex-partner or a friend to an ex-partner that you're meeting up with or you're deciding to meet up with to resolve an issue and they may not be forthcoming about that issue to you they are they are not you need to for months you need to get someone to speak like you need the, to get them to speak to express to you what is really going on or what happened what did you see that's all an idea of cameras what did you see happening on the cameras what did you see you know, what did you see happening on the surveillance video? What did you see happening on the surveillance video? In somebody's office. And this is simple as if you left the job, somebody somebody caught video of somebody caught video of what was happening with your documentation in the job, or somebody has video of what was going on with your documentation in the job and but they have it on surveillance. Like they have like an office surveillance of that. They have office surveillance of that, workplace surveillance of that. Or it's like an ex partner, somebody 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 may have seen your ex do something with your things. I get in an apartment. So somebody saw your ex do something with your things in an apartment setting. Or they saw your partner do something with your things in an apartment setting. In an apartment setting. Hermit, you may be embodying. Because you're not seeing that. <laughs> I don't know. Something's interesting about not seeing that. The three of pentacles energy is here with the spiritual self next to the four of wands. So it is related to, you've got a lot of job related situations that are going on here. Three of pentacles, working with them. Working with Virgo. Working with Taurus. <sighs> Could be Capricorn, man, man. Working with them. Working with somebody. Three of Pentacles and the spiritual self. Right? I also get the idea of a break. So you work it, you worked work with them as in past tense and you're getting a break from that. Or you're working with them now and you're getting you're trying to get a break from them or they're getting a break from you. It has something to do with taking breaks. Or you're doing something with the fire sign. And I didn't want a break. You're doing something currently with the fire sign and you want a break. So whether that's a fire sign, four of wands kind of brings in the, the energy of any fire sign. So a Leo, Aries, Sag, or Aries is there. So doing something with them and wanting a break from doing something work related with them. Hmm. The mentality is the full sign of Aries. You got a lot of Aries energies going on here. Whether you're a man or a woman, uh, 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 you got a lot of Aries male or female energies going on um, coming through. A lot of male, male and female Aries elements. The journey, if it's not only Aries, then the fool with the seven of swords is just making plans to travel. You could be going towards the emperor. But I keep getting this idea they're deceptive. So something around them is deceptive. Or something that they know. Something about it is something is deceptive about them. Or something that they did. Something that they saw. I also get set up. Something that they did or saw is related to a setup. Like they set up something. Whatever. They set up something to happen in some type of environment. They set up something to happen in some type of environment. Whatever that means to you. Hmm. <sighs> What's changing is the moon sign of Pisces. So it's needing to see something is changing. It's in the changing if it was somewhere else that would mean if it was somewhere else that would mean that you need to see something, or the fact that it's changing is that you you're starting to I get Aries, you're starting to realize 
something about an Aries man or woman. You're starting to realize something about them. Right? Realizing something about them will be... I was like where they get their money from. Realizing something about them has to do with where they get their money from. Or how they get their money. How they get their money. It's, it's related to your things. It's related to that of somebody else's things. But it's just the way they go about doing it. I get contradictory. The way they go about doing it is contradictory. The way they go about obtaining their funds. I don't know if that's like the way you obtain your funds is contradictory. If someone else ex it deems it to be. Or you deem somebody else's way of fun making money to be con um, um, contradictory. Hmm. The resolution has the two of swords energy. That's your energy going towards them. So you're going towards them. I can still work with. You're going towards them, but you're trying to figure out if you still want to work with them and do something with them. You're trying to decide that. You're like, I'm not sure. You're making plans to go meet with them, do something with them, but you, you may not be sure. It has something to do with something. It has something to do with what you heard about that person. What you heard about an emperor. What you heard about an emperor. So the videos and the documentation and things could have happened to someone else. And you know that the emperor is involved with what's happening information wise with someone else external. Or the emperor is um, the emperor is the reason why something has ha happened to you with your information. I also get exposure. Like they're responsible for why you have some type of exposure. Well, that's good or bad exposure. They're responsible for that. But you you know that or you don't know that, right? So how do we want to look at it? It could be job related. I get housing. It's housing related. It's job related. It's X related. It's fun related. It's documentation related. Okay. All right. So let's look for outcome here, Gemini. Okay. So offering. You have the offering card here. Um, also it kind of gives me the idea of like ritualistic practices or like um, making like making altars and or going to church you know spiritual practices and things of that nature um, that I, they do so I'm looking at the emperor they the Taurus male or the Aries male they do this they do what I just explained they do this behind the scenes um, when they do it openly they do that. They do. They make altars, or they they have some type of um private ritualistic practice that they do for themselves. I mean, it's not, that's okay. You know, nobody necessarily gets hurt in that. But it's it's something that you know that they do spiritually that you may have had to back away from. If that makes any sense, some maybe something about it. I ideal something about it may not fit. So it's like it's like um what's that what's uh, like non-conventional it's like spiritual non-conventional perspective that somebody has with how they obtain their funds um and that may be why that something about that may be something you saw on the video like i think a really interesting example like you you could have been working in a job where somebody has really interesting spiritual ideals or they, it's, it, they, it keeps saying how they get their money. It has something to do with how they get their money or how they make it. Um, but it's like, it's how they're doing it and it's something that's spiritual in nature and you may, it's something that, it can be interestingly, I mean everybody does something spiritually but it's like some, some part of it doesn't sit right with you if that makes any sense some part of it doesn't some part of it doesn't doesn't sit right with you and that could be why you uh, why you either are um, why you're leaving someone or you're staying with them or you decide that you're okay with that whatever that could be why you don't work somewhere or live somewhere anymore or why you want to whatever it is you know 
whatever. All right, Gemini. Um, let me know how it resonates with you. Be well. Take care. Bye.